Thompson near side. Tate long double covered. Makes the catch. Headed for the end. Golden. Golden. Wake what, up. What? 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 Sorry. We're talking about your best memories from college football. What stuck with you the most? Kissing baby, shaking hands, watching leprechauns run across the walkway, guys in kilts, the pretty green grass. Golden. Golden. What? What? Stay focused here. Oh, sorry. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Whistle presented by Wendy's Breakfast. And what better way to wake up than with some college football? I'm your host, Jack Settleman, and joining me today is none other than Juke Left, Juke Right, a human highlight reel, a real life Golden Domer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Golden Tate. Golden, how are you feeling this morning? Whew, you probably think I'm tired, but I'm ready to go. Let's go. It's game day. Whoa, relax, relax a little bit. Jack's Morning Joe, hitting you with a strong dose of Jack early in the morning. Here are my biggest surprises and biggest disappointments so far this college football season. All right, let's start with some surprises. Wake Forest, dominating the ACC. I mean, who would have thought, the Demon Deacons? The Demon Deacons. And what about Kentucky? I thought they were a basketball school, but week in, week out, proving everyone wrong in the SEC. Now, my biggest disappointments. Clemson, those boys in orange, Death Valley, more like Dead Valley. And what about Florida State? The Seminoles, that famous program that now people aren't even paying attention to. You got refs on the phone, you've got refs eating Skittles. I don't know what's going down in Tallahassee, but my biggest disappointment to date, Texas A&M. They finally beat number one Alabama. What? They they just beat the number one team in the nation. Yeah, but but they have they have multiple losses. They're out of playoff contention. Oh, I see what's going on here. You what's got allegiance with a Texas school or no, something. No, that huh? has nothing uh, to do with it. Okay. This is a and M. They conquered number one, and it means nothing. It's useless. It's a useless win. They would have been better off losing. And that <laughs> is Jack's morning job. Fresh Roast, the segment where Golden and I verbally duke it out over college football's best topics. Fighting Leprechaun. Fighting Leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to fight, buddy. What's the best celebration you've seen on the sidelines this season? It's a no-brainer. You got to go with the U, the turnover chain. I mean, that thing seems like it weighs like three pounds or something, and it's got nothing but gold, a lot of diamonds, and, and all you gotta do is just get a turnover. That's pretty cool, but I see turnover chainsaws. I see celebrations all like that all the time. But what about the Florida Gators? They built a human bicycle on the sideline. They had Lance Armstrong riding that thing till their next turnover. What could be better? Look, yours is here today, gone tomorrow. Imitation is the highest form of flattery, okay? Miami's the OG, the OG of all of this. Now everyone's trying to copy them and imitate them, but you can't do it. They set a high standard, a gold standard, maybe even a golden standard, or is that taking it too far? I like that. Huh. His name's Golden, if you guys got that. All right, let's talk the best rivalry in all of college football. Golden, who's your pick? Oh, this is a no-brainer. You got USC. Notre Dame. You, this U.S. Yeah, don't do that around me. Okay. I'll break one of those fingers, okay? But you can't argue. I mean, that's where I feel like robberies even started. I mean, it's been going around for, it feels like 200 years at this point. All right, Lou Holtz. All right, all right. The best rivalry in college football, Texas OU. They meet up in Dallas. The stadium is split. You got the red. You got the burnt orange. Speaking of burnt, <laughs> then y'all get burnt. All right, that doesn't matter. The rivalry is what we're talking about at the State Fair. You get a win, you get a funnel cake, and you have a grand old time. Yeah, and if they keep smacking you around, it won't be much of a robbery anymore. All right, all right, let's settle this once and for all. The best college town in college football, and I'm going to Austin. You know what they say, everything's bigger in Texas. Football, barbecue, Bevo. What could possibly beat that? It's a no-brainer. You go to the SEC, you go to Oxford, a place called The Grove, and you partay. I mean, everyone's dressed up like they're going to the Kentucky Derby. 
I mean, you got chandeliers at the party, you got a sweet tea, you got a good old time, y'all. We've got Matthew McConaughey. It's not even close, debate over. Matthew McConaughey is impressive and I love him. He has a sensational voice. And maybe you would win if he was on the PA at the games. You know, first in goal, Texas. I brutally, that was brutal of his voice, but you get my, <laughs> you get my point. Tell us what you think. What's the best college town in America? This is our game day rituals and reflection segment, where we get to talk to Golden about his favorite college moments. What comes to mind? Ooh, I've had so many cool moments, but I gotta go back to 2009, my junior season. We're at home against a rival, Michigan State, late in the game. Jimmy Clausen throws me a bomb. I'm, I'm talking about a dime. Boom, into my arms, touchdown, Notre Dame. But wait. I got the Michigan State band right here, this little tuba girl, and I didn't want to run her over, so I thought, ding, 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 land on all of them. I swan dive into the band, and I've never seen band members move so quickly to get out of the way. I climb out, celebrate the touchdown, like a bad mamma jamma, and there we go. That is a legendary moment. That's viral before viral moments were even a thing. Yeah. Did it hurt though? You know, it didn't hurt at the time. I think I had adrenaline. Now the next day, I chose to believe that I was sore from the football game, not the plastic chairs. You never want to get hurt by a band. That would be embarrassing. Yeah. It's time for all the bacon trivia. Golden and I are going head to head <laughs> in a speed round, answering college football trivia and testing our accuracy skills. All right, here are the rules. Answer the question correctly and hit the target three points. Nail one and miss the other, one point. You ready to play? Absolutely. You know my middle name is Competition with a capital C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then let's put something on the line. What's at stake? Well, I've always wanted to dress up as a team mascot, but I'd rather make you do it when I win. Oh, really? Game on. Let's kick this off. Question one. How many teams are there in Division I football? Oh, geez. Is it 118? 130 teams. Dang it. Okay, got a point. How many minutes does halftime last in college football? 20. 20 minutes is correct. Boom. Oh boy, here we go. What does the A&M stand for in Texas A&M? I should know this. What is it? Agriculture and mechanical. Yeah, I had no shot. Oh my God, he doesn't miss. Name the only two-time winner of the Heisman Trophy. Tim, Tim Brown. <laughs> Archie Griffin. Wow, you should play quarterback. Which program is known for their stadium whiteout? Penn State. That's correct. Yay! He doesn't miss. Big Al is the mascot at which Power Five school? Is that Ohio State? <laughs> Alabama. Alabama captured back-to-back -back championships in 2011 and 2012. Name the last school that did it before them. Notre Dame. USC in 2003 and 2004. Jeez. Trivia's just not my thing. Oh, name. he's fought. USC made him it, fall it, it apart. Hit a, it hit a who, funny bone. Who would have thought? Hit a funny bone. Last question. How many championships did Miami capture during the 1980s? Ooh, the How 80s. Ones? Three? That's correct, 1983, 87, and 89. Final shot. Wow, fireball. Okay, good job, respect. Thank respect. you, thank you. All right, are you ready for your trivia? Team Jack is ready. Yeah, whatever. All right, in college overtime, when do teams have to go for the two-point conversion? It's actually a new rule. Should be the second overtime. Correct. Oh, geez. How many feet need to be in bounds for a catch in college football? Oh, that's hard. One. Who's making these questions? Who's making these shots? <sighs> Touche. How many scholarships are allotted for a Division I football program? Oof. Mm hmm. 80? 85. Ooh, wow. Who is the only non offensive player to win the Heisman Trophy? Charles Woodson. Ding, ding, ding. Three points. Come Can on, I got one simmer more. Simmer down, simmer down. Yeah. What team holds the record for the longest home winning streak in college football history? Alabama. Nope, Miami, 58 from 1985 to 94. Wow. Good throw. Thank you. True or false? Why didn't I get a true or false? <laughs> BYU has won a national championship in their history. 
I'm gonna go trill. Correct. Hey, look. <laughs> I think I won that round. Yeah, someone, I mean, someone, let's yeah. find the scoreboard, please. Good job. Thank you. I really hate losing. You ready so to get I'm, dressed I'm, up? I'm not there you ready yet. ready to get dressed I'm up? I'm not there. Just let me take it all I'm going to go find your outfit. As we close the show, it's time to line up for one final play. Our fourth and goal segment. Golden, give me your surefire championship matchup at the halfway point in the season. Look, there's two things we know. Defense wins championships and offense fills stadiums. So I got to go with Oklahoma Boomer Sooner and then them Georgia Dogs and Bulldogs. And I see Georgia taking it all home. I like that pick from the SEC, but I like Alabama to make the last dance against the little guy. Don't sleep on Cincinnati and Desmond Ritter. And you'll have to wait and see who wins it all. So make sure you tune in next time to Wake Up With Whistle, presented by Wendy's Breakfast.